Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 14th of 2024 is titled Dragon Aurora over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the aurora up in the sky and very prominent from a great solar storm and perhaps in the shape of a great dragon in the sky. Now, the aurora are caused when charged particles from the sun strike Earth's magnetic field, and they are funneled toward the north and south magnetic poles, where they strike oxygen atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere, causing them to glow. And that gives us this distinct green glow of the aurora that we see in our image today. Now, this image taken back in 2019 is very intense, and that's because of an intense solar storm that occurred that sent excess particles toward the Earth. The more particles that are, go toward Earth, the more intense the aurora will be. And that can be tied in with the solar activity. The solar activity varies on an 11 year cycle, and we are now approaching a maximum in a couple of years. So over the next couple of years, the Earth should experience far more aurora and more prominent and should also be visible at lower latitudes. Normally they're only visible in the very high Arctic regions. So we see them in Alaska and Canada and Scandinavia. However, when an intense solar storm hits, it can deform Earth's magnetic field a bit and make those particles visible even a little farther south. So more of those mid latitudes will get to see some of these aurora as well. Well, so those occur in the most intense solar storms. When you have just the more mild ones, you tend to see it very far north as seen in our image here. Now, when the sun gets more active, we see more of things like sunspots, but also the very active regions, the solar flares where material is flung off of the sun out into space. And it's when those solar flares or even more intense coronal mass ejections are directed toward Earth that we begin to have the aurora. Now we can see some minor aurora all the time. The sun is always emitting particles in a solar wind. However, they become the most intense during those storms. There are a lot more particles. So as the sun becomes more active over the next few years, we can actually expect to see far more aurora than we see right now. Now the question can come up is can we see aurora on other planets and it's very true that we can. In fact we have seen aurora on other planets especially the outer planets of the solar system and an aurora can be visible on any planet that has two things. It has to have a magnetic field to focus those particles and it has to have an atmosphere to be excited. So something like Mercury which does have a small magnetic field would not have aurora because it does not have an atmosphere. Venus has no has a big atmosphere, but does not have a strong magnetic field. So it is not able to focus those particles. Planets like Jupiter and Saturn are do have both of these and do have Aurora that have been photographed in the past as well. So that was our picture of the day for January 14th of 2024. It was titled Dragon Aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be reflecting stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.